Hello folks, looping in Salesforce flows is hard. It's difficult to learn, it's cumbersome, and you don't really want to loop unless you really have to. It has performance implications. Now, Salesforce gave us the transform element that could help with some of that. The transform element as of the previous release gave us the ability to transform collections uh, from one form to another. So you could take, let's say, a field in your collection and you could transform that value using a function and then write it to another collection. Now, with this release, the Winter 25 release, we actually get to use primitive data types as well, meaning you can take a collection and then within that collection, pick a field, let's say ID value, and then write that value to a text collection. Now, this is immensely useful because, again, a few releases back, Salesforce gave us the ability, for example, to update records. And when updating records, use the in operator. So we could specify which records we wanted to update by feeding a collection of IDs into our update element. But getting from a collection of records to a collection of IDs required looping. And that was not really useful back at that time. Now, now that we have the capability within the transform element to take a collection of records and then to convert that into a collection of IDs, we can quickly update the records that we want. That opens up a lot of possibilities for us to do efficient and simple work in our flows. Now, I'll show you an example where I'm going to illustrate for you how that works. Let's jump right to it. One use case where I had to loop and the looping seemed completely unnecessary was when I created like a data table selection screen for the user um, to select products for an opportunity. I would show them a list of products like in a data table, they would select multiple products and I would have to loop through them to finish my operation. Now with the new functionality for the transform element, I don't think I will have to do that. Let me demonstrate this functionality, not with the product selection, but I'm going to show you an example where the user is going to select accounts for which they want to close all the open cases. They, they kind of want to uh, do a cleanup job, let's say. Now, let me show you in this debug how that works. I'm going to um, allow the user to select multiple accounts from this data table. Um, in this particular developer org, I only have seven accounts. Obviously, if you have more than 50,000 accounts in your org, you would have to handle this differently. And you would have to also be careful and stay within the limits of the out of the box data table component because there is a limit uh, on how many records it can show. But the user can select here out of this list, let's say the first two accounts for which they want to close the cases. Premit Construction and Dickinson. And once they click Next, the next screen comes up and the next screen is asking whether um, they want to add more accounts to the list. They can go through multiple iterations and finalize their list. So I'm going to toggle this to Yes, click Next. And this time I'm going to allow them to add University of Arizona to that list. And let's say they are done here and we're going to continue. Now I'm going to perform one final get uh, to show the complete selection here back to the user so that they can confirm one last time. So if they click next here, these three accounts will have all their open cases closed. And once they click next, all open cases under the selected accounts have been closed message will be displayed. Now, if you look here on the right side in the debug log, you are going to see that um, the get records here has an in operator in it, right? So the, the get records, the display of the final list is going to use a 
text collection variable of all account IDs. And then it's going to get um, all the accounts where the IDs are specified in this text collection. And then once the user displays and sees the final list and they approve by clicking next, there is going to be an update element here. Uh, and it's updating all the cases that are not already closed where the account ID is in this um, text collection, right? So we are using the in operator. Let's look at a couple of elements inside our flow uh, that can clarify the functionality that's been built here. Now the account selection screen has a data table, right? And that data table is going to produce a, uh, a record collection of selected accounts. Now we're going to use the transform element and take the collection that comes out of this accounts data table. You see there is a collection called selected rows. And we are going to take the ID field in that collection and then feed that into a, another collection of type text, right? So, and that's going to produce us, and let me just show you what that text collection is. So the, the transform selection is going to feed that into um, uh, ID collection variable using the assignment that I have right after. I'm not using the transform selection for the next step because I allow the user to go through multiple iterations. Now, I'm going to take that transform selection that's actually the text collection that the transform element produces. I'm going to add that to an ID collection variable that I have created here. And then let me show you what that is. It is a collection variable of type text. You can tell by the logo here, right? And you can see that here. So once the user actually uses the toggle, this is my add more screen, uses the toggle to add more, the decision evaluates whether the toggle is yes or not. If it's yes, um, the user is kicked back to the same selection screen. If it's no, uh, we go to the final get. Now, unfortunately, I can't really use assignments to add record collections uh, to another record collection. So that's why I would have to perform a final get here to show um, the final selection to the user. And I do that by uh, getting all the accounts where ID is in this ID collection variable, text variable. And the results are displayed uh, using the data table. And then once the user confirms, I go to an update where I update all the cases with the account ID in my account ID collection variable uh, and where the case is not already closed. So I status will be closed, uh, updated to closed for those cases. And we go to the success screen right after. Now, please bear in mind, uh, you can also use this kind of functionality uh, to accumulate text collections for related uh, record IDs. Like for example, if I had a selection screen over here for cases rather than accounts, right? You know, uh, a case can be related to an account uh, and or a contact. And those IDs are actually in um, the record collection variable. And I could actually accumulate those values and keep them in a text collection uh, variable to use that afterwards, right? You know, that also could be another functionality that uh, can be used as a result of this transform element support for primitive data types.